Hello again, it's good to be back with you and uh, first video with the new tricked out camera here. Hopefully this uh, works a little better than that old one I was using. This video I'd like to talk about mass and impact, which are very cool things. So start, well, let's start by saying what is mass? Well, we know that Newton's law, which is about as simple as laws get, say F equals MA, where M is mass. Hmm. Well, you could think about mass as the relationship with force and acceleration. Sometimes people try to explain it as the uh, uh, constant that relates the two of them, or kind of like the amount of material. It's kind of hard to explain it in those terms. But another way to think about it, if you like, is to think about mass as the resistance to acceleration. The more mass you've got, the harder it is to accelerate. Let's say you're trying to shoot uh, an airplane off the deck of an aircraft carrier. Well, there's a lot of mass there, tens of thousands of kilograms usually. So you have to make a lot of force to get the plane fast enough that it'll fly when it gets to the end of the end of the deck. Uh, conversely, if you were going to try to something, accelerate something really, really, really small, like a ping pong ball, okay. Well, if you're trying to accelerate a ping pong ball, you don't need much force. Think about if you've ever played ping pong or table tennis. If you hit the ball. How, how hard do you have to hit it? How much recoil do you feel when you hit the ball? Not much. Little mass doesn't take much to accelerate it. So what I want to do here is rather than sit here and talk about it, let's try it. Let's say we have, uh, I don't want to say, let's, let's say we have something that moves and it's on wheels. So it weighs, oh, I don't know, two kilograms. I got my skateboard here. And you can see I've got my, I've got my X-Wing fighter on the top of it. That's how you know it's cool. Um, and I need to, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a mass forward and have it land on the skateboard and see how much the skateboard moves. Okay. Well, I've got, this works out pretty well actually. This is a bag of chain that I use, I use for other things in my class. I use for demonstrations. But I'm going to throw this, have it land on the skateboard, and we'll see how much the skateboard moves. Now that's a little bit of mass, all right? A little bit of mass, a little bit of acceleration. Shouldn't be generating much force, won't make the skateboard move very much. Let's take something that weighs a lot more, like maybe, oh, I don't know, a professor. We'll, we'll have that land on the skateboard and see how fast the skateboard accelerates then. All right, so let's go out in the hallway outside my office and give this a try. Okay, we're out in the hallway now. I've got my skateboard here. I've got my little bag of chain that weighs eh, probably a kilogram. I'm going to throw the chain, it's going to land on the skateboard. Since the top of the skateboard is rough, the chain is going to stop moving with respect to the skateboard. It had to decelerate, therefore there had to be a force, and there's going to be an acceleration of the skateboard. So let's try it. Ooh, huh? Pretty exciting. We can do better. All right, so here we go again. I'm going to take a run and land on this skateboard. Now my mass is in the neighborhood of about 95 kilograms, pretty much, 200 pounds, whatever that is. And the skateboard is still about 2 kilograms. So ready? Let's do this. Right there. Okay, so there you go. Whole bunch of mass, whole bunch of potential force. Take my helmet off here. Okay, so what happened was I weigh an awful lot more than the skateboard does. So as a group, we didn't. The skateboard accelerated. I decelerated just a little. I was able to exert so much force on the skateboard, it basically took the same velocity I had. So there you go. Hope this helps, and I'll see you next time.